So hi friends. So as part of this snippets, uh, I'll cover all this CRE resistance organisms. Uh, so I finished uh, CRE, I finished KPC, I finished uh, NDM, and I finished CRAP. So today I'll just maybe two minutes. We'll cover this OXA forty eight. What does this IDSA guideline suggest? So again, this came in two thousand twenty four. So request all of you to go through once. So just to uh, rewind with our memory. Uh, so common CRE are commonly Enterobacter cloacea, aerogenes, E. coli, Citrobacter, Klebsiella, Morganella, Pseudomonas, and Sericea. So these are the commonest CRE, and they can produce OXA, they can produce KPC, they can produce NDMs, metallobitalactomesis. And all of us should have some clarity on this Ambler's classification. OSBLs is ordinary spectrum beta-lactomase, ESBLs, which have serine, a and D categories, AMC belongs to C, and carbocanamase again divided into serine and MBLs. Oh, serine is always A and D, AMC is only C. So A and D come in carbocanamases, and in A it's KPC, D is OXA48. So we'll talk about class D, serine is OXA48, class B is NDM, SWIM, and IMP. So this is what we follow as a representation of all the resistance patterns that emerge. So the question is, what are the preferred antibiotics for the treatment of infections outside of UTI caused by CRE if it is an OXA producer, so OXA48? And uh, the studies in India, Vitro, predominantly have shown either NDMs and OXA is very, very prevailing in our epidemiological studies in India because there are good studies that has come from Bellore, BHU and few other centers where OXA48 prevalence is very much, uh, is pretty much present and it, it is pretty high like NDM. So, and OXA48 is the most prevailing sort of a resistance patterns in CRE in India. But again, if you look at the choice of antibiotics suggested by IDSA, again, there has been a de-emphasis on polymyxin and cholestine. So in India, the only suggested or recommended drug for OXA48 by IDSA is ceftazidime abibactam. So you don't need to combine it with astronam like we do in MBLs or NDM because this belongs to class B serine component of the carbapenemases. So it is only class B, which is MBLs, NDMs, which need uh, astronam. So this doesn't need astronam, only ceftazidime abibactam. And the second one that is recommended, which is unavailable, which we are all awaiting its uh, presence in India is ceftazidime. And more than 95% of OXA48 are found to be sensitive to both septazidine, mavibactam, and cefiteracol. And what about these other drugs which we are awaiting? So, miropenem, weberbactam, imipenem, silastin, relibactam, they actually do not have any activity against OXA48, very limited, because this weberbactam and relibactam does not inhibit OXA48. So, please bear in mind. If you combine miropenem with all these other combinations, they do not have activity. It's only septicidium abibactam, which has effective against OXA48. Vaberbactam and relibactam do not have an ability to inhibit OXA48. And what is the substantiation for making the recommendation of septicidium abibactam? Are there any studies? So there is around three studies. So this was an observational study. Uh, without a control arm, where they have looked at 171 OXA48 strains. This came from Saudi Arabia, actually. So 30-day mortality with subtazidim abibactam in OXA48 was 22%. It was just an observation with no control arm. So this was one study that came from Spain comparing polymyxine and subtazidim abibactam in 76 OXA48 uh, organisms. As you see, the clinical outcome deaths was significantly less in subtazidim abibactam as compared to polymyxin. That's why you see in the whole 2024 guidelines, there has been an ongoing de-emphasis on polymyxin. Even for NDM, there was a de-emphasis. KPC, there was a de-emphasis. Only for CRAB, polymyxin was given, but it is always to be in combination with sulbactam. So this is what we have understood. And this was another study which came from um, uh, UK, where a very small uh, number of patients as a subgroup, they did 10 OXA48, where they used septericol, day 28 survival was successful in all 10 patients who were treated with septericol. So these are the three main studies they have kept as a reference from IDSA to suggest and recommend. Of course, there are a lot of in vitro studies showing good effectivity, effectiveness of septazidine, abibactam and septericol against the OXA48. 
So that's about it, folks. For Oxa 48, right now in India, the choice is Septacity Mavi Bactum. If Septeracol comes, you can use Septeracol. And there is no recommendation for polymixin based combinations, even for Oxa 48, is what we can sort of uh, decipher from the IDSA guidelines if you want to adhere to that. Uh, and uh, in this uh, clinical cure, was around 7 out of 10 patients. Uh, so other alternatives that were suggested was Tiki cycline and Arava cyclines because we saw in NDM also they did suggest that. But again, Tiki cycline, Arava cycline, they have said it cannot be positioned for bacteremia and UTI. So again, these are desperate measures because most of the ICU patients either come, commonest infection is UTI and bacteremia also is common. If these two are eliminated, you are talking only about lung and intra-abdominal source as infections or skin for that matter. So, so these are more as a desperate measure. So we pretty much have to stick to septicity in Abibactam and Septeracol. So thank you, friends. So we can uh, request all of you to submit valuable work to our Journal of Acute Care because you can visit my website to rehear to this lecture. Thank you. Thank you, Randall.